Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We're here with Mitchell from Fresh on the Rocks. And as you saw in the last segment, we we're talking about some of the different bracelets and the different stones that are used in making his products. So I was just wondering, um, how did you get started doing this? Well, it originally caught my eye. Uh, I'm a big hip hop fan. Oh, okay. Oh, no wonder. So when I saw, started seeing the celebrities wearing it, uh, a lot of the artists that I, I, I don't, I'm not big on music videos, but I, I, I see them when they do the performances, and it really caught my eye. So I started looking it up, found out what Shambhala bracelets were about, and I always put it on the back burner. So this was this was about like January, February around there. Okay. Um, and then I had a, a wedding to go to. My one of the sons from my second ohana was came back to Hawaii to get married. So this was in June, and you know, it was such a beautiful wedding. I was so moved. It was unlike any wedding I've been to before. Mm -hmm. There was so much love in the air, just good vibes. So uh, corny, yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the story. <laughs> so I wanted to give them something a little bit more special, oh, okay. something more, uh, not intimate, but more, more personal when they yeah, go back up to the mainland. Yeah. yeah. So I just took a shot in the dark and uh, tried to make a couple of these. These, They're actually constructed around uh, a Boy Scout knot, so I was a little familiar. Okay, you see a Boy Scout? <laughs> fortunately, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Good and bad, yeah. You can admit to us. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's how it originally got started. They really liked it and from from there I just started making more bracelets, started becoming more popular. Everybody's asking you for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hawaii there's a little bit of a delay to yeah. the mainland. Always. So yeah, so <laughs> now it's really starting to come around. Oh okay. In the and local so, community. Um what kind of people normally ask you to make them bracelets? Is it people who are into hip hop or just people who like the way it looks or you know a lot of times now it's it's People just like the way it looks. Hmm. I, I get a couple, there's still a fair amount of people who are going to Vegas, so they want a special bracelet made. Um, there's been a lot of people asking for Christmas gifts for their little kids, okay. like the more petite ones. Yeah, these are cute. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, neat. Wide okay. range of people. Okay, and then um, is there anything that's more popular than others? Because I see there's some that are um, bicolored or like you have contrasting colors, or this one, what, what is that? Where it's That's actually Lava Rock. This is Lava Rock okay. and a Jade Jasper. Lava Rock and Jade Jasper, wow. And does it um, have any symbolism or? This one was purely for uh, aesthetic purposes. People uh. were requesting uh, things a little bit more earthy in tone. Mm -hmm. So uh, Lava Rock is pretty earthy to me. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. And then this is this is the one that um, helps you with your health, right? Correct. Uh, hematite and howlite uh, are put together for healing purposes. Okay. Uh, the hematite is used to improve blood circulation, and howlite is known for strengthening bones and teeth. Okay. So people who are more into their health or athletes or whatever they... Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. And so... Um, it was just a Boy Scout knot, but I mean, there was all this other stuff that, that goes into it too. Were you always like crafty or how'd you know that what you were going to make was going to be? You know, it was a lot of <laughs> trial and error. I, I didn't know. It was a real really? shot in the dark. So there was nothing on YouTube I could look to. I, it just looked familiar. So I went through a couple of my Boy Scout books and oh, I guess, I guess it is something that was worthwhile. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, people who are into Shambhala, have, has anybody approached you about, anybody in, who's into Shambhala approached you about these bracelets and told you, oh yeah, that's, that's like the real thing, or? Yeah, you know, a lot of people originally stayed away from them because the price points were extremely high because it started off as a, as a high market thing for, mm -hmm. the, for the hip hop artists. Um, and then when they realize it's a little bit more affordable than it becomes more realistic and they get more into it and start customizing their own designs. Ah, okay. It's a really fun experience. Oh, okay. Oh. And so as far as um, 
the price points. I mean, it, it varies, right? I mean, because it just depends on what stone you choose. Um, does it matter also how big your wrist is? Like, if you have a bigger wrist, is it going to cost more because there's more beads involved? Or there is no size discrimination for okay. wrist size. There is discrimination on stone size. The big ones are oh, okay. obviously um, are at a higher price point. Okay. So if you got something with all small stones like that, it would be less than something with all the gargantuan? Correct. <laughs> Marbles. <laughs> gargantuan, yes. Okay. And then what's your, what's your favorite? What's your personal favorite? My favorite? You know, this one, like I said, this one I originally designed um, for healing purposes, but I really like the way it looks. So that's probably one of my favorites. This was our first bracelet in the men's collection. Um, and it's by far the most popular. Oh, okay. I, I like it because it's got contrasting colors. The, the tiger's eye, I'm sure, is really popular with guys, right? Yeah. yeah. And what is, what is that blue one? So the blue one is a type of agate. Um, again, this one just so happened to turn out to be pleasing to the eye, but it started off as uh, physical properties. Um, okay. um, excuse me, um, healing properties as well. So this one is supposed to represent like the skies meaning the mountains is supposed oh, to be a yeah, place of like uh, increasing focus and being able to tunnel in on the important things in life. Okay. Oh, I know some people who could use a bracelet like that. <laughs> I wear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> really? Cool. Okay. Um, oh, cool. So, um, as far as... Okay, let me just pull a couple off here just sure. to show. So, this is what it looks like on the side. This is, there's different sizes, depends on on what you're looking for. And um, if you're looking for luck or love, just consult with Mitchell and he'll he'll let you know what you need for what ails you. Okay. Well, thanks very much. And again, your your stuff is available in the Trump and the Kala Spa and online. So Correct. Um, make sure you contact you're not on Twitter yet though, right? You know, I have a Twitter, but I'm I'm really bad with that. No, don't don't admit that on on the air. <laughs> For you guys, I'll get started on my Twitter. I'll get good at it. You heard that. You're all witnesses. You heard it first. Because <laughs> that that would be a faster way to to get your stuff moving. I would imagine. I yeah, think, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm so far behind. I just got my first smartphone. <laughs> uh, Our cameraman is laughing back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. The old soul. <laughs> like, like you said, Hawaii is behind. I'm behind. I'm behind. <laughs> okay. Well, earlier you requested um, a little special something. Ah. So I tried to put something together. So you wanted something oh more. God, that's cool. In the range of protection. Yes. So there's no better combination for protection and luck, you know, guarding against negativity than onyx and tiger together. Um, the hematite on the top mm -hmm. was just a little bit for the circulation, and uh, I thought it looked really nice together. So I could use that. Okay, let's try let's this see. on for you. So how these works is you, you want to pull the ends. Oh, like a uh, Chinese bracelet. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then just and like that. it can sift all the way. There you go. Cool. So this is a good way for me to start the new year. Um, Warding off negativity, protecting against illness, and negative people. Hopefully, we don't see too many of those in 2012. <laughs> but thank you. Cool. You're welcome. We're Looks good. We're going to be wearing this in Vegas. <laughs> we'll get you a jade one for Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And thanks thank for you. coming in. Thanks for having me. Aloha. <laughs>